what's going on youtube we're gonna do something a little bit different today we're gonna do a tier list for all 32 nfl team rankings we're gonna try not to be too biased or base it on last year's performance which we're kind of gonna have to do um but yeah let's get right into it as usual and these are gonna be our tiers unstoppable teams real good teams sneaky teams meh and awful teams um really there's not too many awful teams in the nfl right now so i don't expect too many to go there but usually i like to get a partner for these tier lists as well but we're gonna knock it out ourselves, and we'll just go ahead and go in order i think the jags man they're gonna be real good this year just right off the bat they're not unstoppable but I, th I think they're gonna come out a little better than they did last year and they did make the playoffs and that amazing comeback against herbert uh, pretty impressive uh, Trevor Warren says changed my mind after that so man Miami Dolphins this one is gonna be a hard one I really think they're gonna be unstoppable I really think they're gonna be tough this year Oof. oh man see this this one's gonna be hard I th I almost think they're gonna be an elite team if we need to move that later, we will, but let's go ahead and get one in Unstoppable. Lions, everyone knows they're a sneaky team right now. And just with some of their players, they're, they're definitely sneaky. But they need to get rid of that little trash logo on their helmet because ain't no one scared of that. Saints. I think they're sneaky. They're always right on the line, like, what eight and nine nine and eight they they can upset some teams uh but as we go to falcons just really with the mariota thing and kind of not knowing much about desmond ritter i'm gonna go meh meh for the falcons kc we all know they're unstoppable even though they're getting stomped this year or stopped i should say I don't even know if they'll make it to the conference champions. Hot take, don't kill me. But we're going to see, you know. Of course, KC fans think they're going to win every year, but. Um, Texans. I haven't been following them a lot. They tr I'm pretty sure they traded Cardarius Tony, which I thought was a really good receiver. I'm going to go meh. They might even be awful. I don't really know. If you guys think they should go be awful, let me know. Put put that in the comments. Texans are awful. Chicago Bears, man, after last year, uh, I'll give them a man. Because they got some good players, but I don't think they're really sneaky. And they only won like three wins last year, so. We're, we're going to keep that at man. Panthers. Man, we're getting a lot of them. Man, maybe they should go awful. <laughs> Giants, they're always sneaky, but they only got Saquon and Daniel. We'll just have to see. They did make the playoffs, so I can't really put them any lower than that. I think that's a good one. Jets, everyone knows Jets and Lions are the real sneaky players right now. Or sneaky teams, I should say. Believe it or not, I think Steelers might be sneaky as well. They might even be real good, but they're going against the Bengals and the Ravens. So I don't think they're going to be placing real good. They're going to go sneaky. <laughs> don't get me started on the Dallas Cowboys. Oof. I, I want to put them in meh or awful because, you know, they're the Cowboys. But no bias, no bias. Let's go sneaky. Bengals, everyone knows. Bengals are unstoppable right now. These three teams up here are so elite. It's insane. San Francisco, man, they're they're going to be unstoppable. If they stay healthy, they might win the whole thing. I would love to see the Bengals beat them in the, you know, the Super Bowl, but they're unstoppable. Buffalo, they're real good. They're real good. Can't discredit what they can do sometimes. Washington, I want to put them in sneaky, but they're going in meh. 
I like Washington personally. I like some of those players, like Scary Terry's a beast, but they just they gotta figure it out. Honestly, Cardinals. No DeAndre Hopkins, Kyler Murray, his market going down, all that type of stuff. I'm just I might put him in awful. They might they might shock me, but Titans. They were good the year before, not so much last year. I'm gonna go meh. They got some amazing players. Uh Chargers, they're gonna be real good. They're kinda on the sneaky sneaky line. It's like some of these teams are debatable. Like Cowboys might be just as good as Chargers, but for now I'm going real good. I, I like the players on Chargers. Minnesota, they're real good. I'm I'm always a believer in Kirk Cousins. He's got a bunch of haters, but man, that quarterback show made me love him even more. So I'm gonna stick with that. Colts, honestly, I think they're awful. I don't know much about them at the moment. A lot of these teams I keep up on, but like, who do they got that's gonna be a difference maker? They're gonna be awful. Uh, usually I'd put Seahawks and Meh or awful, but after last year, they're they're pretty sneaky. They're grinding. They're out there grinding. I'm putting Patriots and Meh. What are they gonna do? They haven't made the playoffs and or they haven't won a playoff game in like five years. Eh. So honestly, I'm gonna be I'm undecided with the Raiders. I think this could go either way. I don't think they really deserve to be sneaky. I mean, they're like meh. They're like, they're according. Hmm. A couple of these might be off. I'm not going to take all day making this video. So, you know, a couple of these are pretty close. Like they could go either way. Some of these could go in real good. Some of these could go in sneaky. Um, Ravens, they're real good. As much as I know Bengals, my Bengals are going to dominate the Ravens this year. Just to make all the Ravens fans mad. Uh, they're real good. Got to be honest with that. So Green Bay is meh. I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe I'll put Raiders sneaky. Green Bay meh. Tampa Bay is meh. Like, they have some of my favorite players like Mike Evans and... Uh, but what are they really going to do? I don't think they can keep up. Um, Kyle Trask has to really come out like and just dominate the Jordan Love and the Desmond Ritters and, you know, do better than all of these guys. Ryan Tannehill. Like. So I'm going to go with man. Eagles. I don't know that they're unstoppable. I don't think they are, even though they made the playoffs, I think they got lucky against San Francisco. I mean, the Super Bowl. I really think they got lucky against San Francisco. But they could do it again. Hmm. Those being the top five teams in the league, I think that's pretty accurate. I do think Eagles can beat these teams down here. Could go either way with a couple of these, but... Maybe we put Dolphins back down here then. Just because they haven't proven. And you know, everyone's skeptical about Tua. So I like that top four now. Browns. They're the Browns and everyone can say that. Do they not have some really good talent right now? I really think they do. And, and they're in my division. And honestly, I got to give it to them. Not, not one person in my division is under sneaky. All right, LA, it, just based off last year, they won the Super Bowl. Last year was a catastrophe. They're awful. <gasps> hmm. Broncos. They barely lost a lot of games. And I want to put them in awful. If I was basing on just last year, I would say they were awful. But I think they're going to be sneaky. There's a lot of sneaky teams right here. These guys, these 10 teams right here, 
can be disruptors. They can mess up all of this for any one of these teams. These sneaky teams at any time can beat these top teams. I don't care what no one says. It's unlikely, but they can. It makes me want to move the Saints down to man because I don't see Saints in this caliber of these, these teams, but I could be wrong. I think I think that's a solid list right there. KC, Bengals, San Francisco Eagles are going to be unstoppable. They're going to have to play each other, and every single time it's going to be a great game. And if any one of those go up to this next line of teams, I mean, you guys already know. You guys watch the games too. I think overall this is a pretty solid list. I can't wait to get into this season. I just want to knock out this video before the season starts. I'm going to be doing a little bit of fantasy with my buddy TNT Cards 808 on Instagram. Go ahead and check him out. He's always got a lot of good, uh, you know, sports cards, all that type of stuff. But for now, I think I'm going to wrap it up.